Hello, hello. It's been a bit of a flustery day here. <laughs> Um, so, I've come to do a very quick video. I'm going to speed a lot of this up, um, but I'm going to be making some collage paper, tissue paper. Now, the tissue paper I'm using is cheap as chips. It's packing tissue. Um, so, it is not the best quality, but it's perfectly all right for what I'm going to be using it for. I'm going to be using, these are probably going to ink my mat now. Um, I'm going to be using my Tim Holtz stamps because I, I don't have many. This is pretty much it except from two other sets. And I never ever use them, hardly ever. So I've got the Field Notes, the Entomology, the Wild Flowers, the um, Ledger Script. That don't even stick properly anymore. Um, the Documented. Woo! These are the ones I've been using, as you can probably tell. Um, Flutter and um, the label frames. I'll keep this one out because that's the one we're going to use first. Just pop those over there. Um, I'm using an archival permanent waterproof ink. I'm using the Ranger one. And the reason I'm using these is because once I glue or do whatever I want to do, it's not going to affect... Um, the glue won't affect the ink. It's perfectly stable. Um, I've got a rather pants uh, block and over here I've just got a piece of scrap cardstock that I'm going to use to stamp off some of my stamps and I'll explain that as I go. So the first thing I would say, let me just grab, I'm going to keep standing for this actually. The first thing I'm going to say is do not overthink it because that's when things become um, too kind of complicated. If you try and compose everything, it doesn't seem to go as well as if you just go with the flow. So yeah, I'm going to stamp onto this side. Like I said, it's, it's a packing tissue, so it's not great quality. Um, you can see the four that I have been using for this project. I've got some scrap paper there ready for something else. So I'm just going to put my stamp on my block, um, get that lid out of the way so it doesn't hold anything up and ink my stamp up and stamp. And it doesn't matter if you don't get a perfect stamp, it doesn't matter if you get your little bits and it doesn't stamp correctly because once the sheet is complete it just looks really cool. And you can see I'm already getting some lines here and there where I'm not stamping perfectly. And I think that's because this is a rather new, I mean, look at the state of me. Honestly, I'm like a child. Still not right. Let me grab I don't think this is meant to happen today. It's not going very well. <laughs> I think this is about the third time I've tried to film and something's happened and it's gone a bit wrong. So I'm just gonna keep stamping different directions, overlapping some like so. Let's have one down here. On there. Another one here. I've got my head very close now to my camera, so I hope it's um, not going to be, not going to knock it. Okay, I'm going to change my stamp and I'm going to just speed up a little bit now. Okay, I'm going to call that that part done. So the next thing I'm going to use is I'm going to use these two sets here, which is the documented and the ledger script. And I'm going to start with one of the ledger script stamps. 
um, any script will do. Now, the thing with this is I want to stamp over the top of it. So I don't want this to be too dark. So I'm going to stamp it off on my scrap piece. And I'm doing this with my hand. I am not going to be um, using my block. I just want it to be, you know, quite random. Oh, I forgot to stamp that one off. Okay, I'm just going to switch to the other one. Okay, so that's going to be enough for that stamp set. So that's done. And now I'm just going to use this um, letter, typewriter letter stamp. Okay, so that's looking pretty random at the moment. I'm quite liking that. The next stamp set I'm going to use is my butterflies. And I'm just going to maybe stamp um, with three of them. Look at my hands. That will do for butterflies. There's a few on there now. And now I'm going to use my wildflowers. I'm going to leave that for now. Um, I may do a few more flowers, but I'm going to move on to my entomology set. Right, I'm quite happy with that. I'm liking how it's coming along. So the last stamp set I'm going to use is the field notes and I'm going to start with the condemned. The last stamp I'm going to use is the kind of postage one. And I'm just going to kind of overlap and fill in some of these last gaps. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. I think um, this is as far as I'm going to go. And it isn't perfect, obviously, but it's good enough for collaging. Um, what would also be quite nice is if you kind of used a matte medium to, or, or the collage medium, to add this to a piece of um, canvas. I think Artie Mays has done some tissue paper covers in the past. I mean, this would work perfectly with that. Now, once it's down, um, this is one... <laughs> <laughs> that I started earlier and um, I kind of made a mess because I used an old ink pad I didn't use my new ink pad but once this is collaged onto something it would be fabulous I mean this blue I've done one with the blue it just looks so cool but if you do this at this stage what's going to happen is um, you're going to get um, bleeding when you glue this down to something it's not it's not waterproof like the archival ink is. Um, this is a salvage patina. Um, this is the ink and this is the oxide. But um, it does look pretty cool once you kind of splash it with some colour. So that was just a really quick video to give you some ideas. But please don't worry about using the same stamps um, that I have. You can use any stamps. They will look just as cool. Um, thanks for joining me. I will see you soon. Bye.